Hi, I'm Angela Walters from Quilting is My Therapy, and in this video, Archie and I are gonna show you how one little ruler can have big quilting results. I've done videos for the other rulers, and now it's Archie's turn. If you wanna check out those videos, just check out the description box below. I have all the information on where you can find them. Archie may be a small ruler, but he sure is mighty. Now, I designed this ruler with creative grids to work in three inch borders, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to quilt these pointed arcs in those borders, as well as how you can use it to make a fun overall design for your whole quilt. So let's get started. And first thing I wanna show you is that it makes a pointed arch. Now, the thing about arches is it's really hard to keep those symmetrical when you're free motion quilting. So Archie is gonna help you keep it the same on both sides, which is fantastic. Now, when you're machine quilting with rulers, you have a couple different options. I could position the ruler like this and quilt so that I'm moving the quilt horizontally, or I can rotate the quilt and move vertically. And actually, this is how I tend to prefer to quilt. When quilting vertically, I feel like I have my whole body momentum that I can push and pull. I'm going to position my ruler along the seam. Since there's a space in between my needle and my foot, I can't have this point come right to the edge because my quilting will actually go past it. So I wanted to start just short. Now these reference lines on here are gonna help me align the ruler depending on how much space I have between my needle and my foot. And so I'm gonna position it like so, using those lines to make sure that it's running straight with the seam. Then I'm gonna press down and quilt around my arc until I get to the next needle stop. When I get to this point, it's gonna be a gradual change. So it's gonna be very easy to go fast and go around it and not get so much of a point, more of a rounded look, and that's completely fine. But I'm gonna pause, reposition my hands, and then come down the other side. And I'm gonna go until I touch the seam. Then I have my first little arc. Now I'm gonna repeat that shape again along my border. And that's actually where these needle stops come in handy. So the way these needle stops work is as I quilt to my next one, I'll be able to reposition my ruler and that will keep the design nice and consistent. I won't have to overthink it. I'll just have to reposition, line it up, and then do it again. Go around to that point, come around the other side until I touch the seam. If my ruler happens to shift, it could be that I'm not pushing it down enough. There is that grip on the back that's gonna help hold it in place. But if it does slip or your hand slips, you can reposition it and bring it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're just using this as a guide. And I'll go ahead and do one this way just so you can see the slight difference that it has. Around and back. And you can see how easily I'm getting consistent, similar arcs. I love it. What I love about rulers is you can do so much more than what it appears. So let's say I have these arcs, they look beautiful, but I wanna add a little bit more in. Maybe I wanna add some echoing. That's where these little black lines are gonna come in handy. If I wanna make my next arc, but make it shorter, it's that second black line along that seam and press down. And what it's going to do is it's gonna make a similar arc. It's just gonna be a little bit shorter so I get more of an echo around the side and back in. So there's gonna be a little traveling, but that's fine because we'll have our ruler there. And let's do it again, lining it up on the second line, holding it in place, and then going around. So let's see what that looks like. And there I have it, some fun echoed arcs that's really gonna help fill in that area. Now let's try some fun orange peel arcs. You're probably familiar with orange peels where it's a curve and then another curve inside. Well, we're gonna do the same thing except we're gonna have points. It's gonna have a slightly different look. So from this starting point, I'm going to flip my ruler. So instead of quilting it this way, it's gonna go the opposite direction and they're gonna be offset. I'm gonna put the point where my needle is and then use a ruler to bring that arc into that point right there. So let's see how that looks. As I work my way around, if I need to, I can switch my hands. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Reposition, line it up, and then go from point to point. 
And you can see there's the start of my little orange peels or they kind of look like little leaves. I'm loving how that looks. Now I know that every quilt isn't gonna have a three inch border. That's why you can use Archie to fill in larger spaces. You can actually stack these arcs on top of each other to get a really cool look that's gonna fill in a bigger area, such as a block or even a whole quilt. And I'm gonna start by quilting a row of arcs along my area. And here I have my first row of arcs. And what I'm going to do is quilt another row of arcs directly on top of the previous one. And I'm gonna use these points as my guide to quilt those arcs. So I'm gonna take Archie and I'm gonna position it so that when I come down the side, I'm gonna end at one of those points. Reposition using those needle stops to help me see where I'm going and holding it in place. Now I love how this looks, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more quilting. I'm gonna go back and flip my Archie around and quilt little orange peels inside all of these and show you how neat that looks. That first row is done, and now I'm gonna do the same on the second row. And there we have the first couple rows of the design. And I think what I'm gonna do is keep quilting this and we'll see how the whole thing looks. Now my whole area is filled in with all these beautiful arcs looking kind of like clamshells, but I think what I'm gonna do is go back and quilt some of those variations and see what I can come up with. Now how about that? Who would have thought that such a little ruler could have such big results? Now even though I'm demonstrating how to use Archie on a home sewing machine, you can definitely use this and any of my other rulers on a long arm. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. And be sure to subscribe so that you can catch all the machine quilting inspiration, tips, and videos. Thanks so much and happy quilting.